So uh, where were you when you saw the Drake video? <laughs> yeah, first episode things. First episode, that shit's crazy. Oh, I gotta spit my gum out. Damn. I'm like Angela Yee. But yo, this is our first official episode. Full length, baby. This shit's like two years. What In is it? Making, two years? Yeah. yeah. We two started years. January 2022. Here we are, March 30th, 2024. No more, no more. Well, we still got you with the TikTok clips, but <laughs> now, now we're moving, we're moving uh, full steam ahead with the full length episodes. No cap, bro. My question to you is: Do you think the Cardi effect is real in the sense of like, whenever he has a feature, it just boosts the shit out of it? I'm like Fiend, he was featured on that, like the Camila Cabello shit that just dropped. Popular. So yeah, popular. I was thinking about this too because Cardi, he's not. Like, you're not going to see him featured on a lot of songs. Like, that's not a frequent thing. So yeah. it's like, especially with Cardi's fan base, it's like, if they see his name featured on a song, they're going to flock to it no matter what. Like, even, exactly. I'm not going to lie, the, the, Cam the Camilla uh, Cabello song was not that good. But, like, it's still going to get plays. The video is still going to get views. Because, yeah. like, everybody wants to see what Cardi's doing. And I think exactly. a big part of that is, like, he, like, the most popular people not even just artists they all got a gimmick and like mm -hmm. cardi he's got that on lock right now like he's got his little vamp yeah. gothic nonverbal phase he's going through and like mm -hmm. it's just so mysterious to the point where like you just you want to see what he's doing also like his features are pretty like minimalistic too sometimes like yeah. if you think about like the popular one was super short yeah. even like um like like telephone calls, for example, just like yeah. ad living in the background, or yeah. like summer bummer with uh, Lana Del Rey. Word. What? That's funny. But it's just like <laughs> when you do that, like when it's that simple, but it's that good. Yeah. It sets a standard too, so like people know, like no matter what it is, like you're not gonna get some full lyrical verse from Cardi, but you're gonna get something to vibe to. Exactly, bro. Exactly. Like I don't even know if I would necessarily say like i like the music he's dropping now more than the shit he was dropping like die lit like self-titled there but like i do still think it's good music mm -hmm. so and obviously like you're saying like the whole like he has the whole like gimmick aesthetic shit like on lock he just be doing what he wants for real yeah like, bro like the the aiden ross stream yeah. like if you if you watch that with no background contact like if you had no idea who cardi was you'd probably think he's a fucking weirdo yeah actually you could probably watch that with background context and still yeah. think he's a weirdo but yeah. the thing is cardi I, I don't know how he acts in in real life but he definitely knows that it's a little odd his behavior yeah but the thing is like there's nothing wrong with being weird like mm -hmm. being weird means you're different and being different is what sells did you get a chance to uh peep that rolling stone article or not nah, the I one did. about I did. okay where... i kept getting signed out so i had to open <laughs> up on a new computer do where... you have a rolling stone account no nah, i don't Sorry. but i mean i was still able to access the um the article and it was basically just talking about how like net spend yapo jj and xavier so base are like the future of underground rap and like how the future of underground rap is just like chronically online basically and all this shit and i don't know i was just wondering on like what your take on it is and like if you think that they are the future of underground rap or like that sound even like type shit what did you think Definitely. about it I feel like also, like, one thing that really stood out to me, too, in the article was, like, especially, I don't remember too much about Xavier Sobase. I know one thing that was mentioned in the article that his mom said that, like, when he was, like, six or something, he was freestyling on a beat, but it was off beat, and she liked it. Oh, yeah. Um, And then, like, something about, like, Yop. Like, he he was, like, he used to listen to, like, Young Thug, Rich Homie Quan, but he was inspired by, like, Freddie Mercury. Yeah. Um, And then Netspin... Like, I think he made that song, Drink, 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 in his mom's car yeah. for, like, like, 10 minutes or something. <laughs> yeah, because he said he was trying to, he wasn't trying to, like, make noise. Too much in noise, yeah. yeah. That's funny. So. But I think, like, that alone kind of stood out to me because I feel like if you have a diverse kind of portfolio of musical inspirations, it mm -hmm. allows you to implement that into your own music. And I think you can kind of hear that in there in their songs and their everything from their lyrics to their samples like you mentioned before um yelda 
like yeah. sampling Legend of Zelda. Yeah. Obviously, that's not like uncommon to do. Like a lot of rappers sample video games, but even just knowing about that, it shows mm -hmm. that like it's not just like a like a Fortnite or a Call of Duty. Like you gotta, you know, you gotta kind of know your 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 game history with that. So yeah. I think uh, I think they definitely definitely got it on lock and also like they're all young too so yeah. it's like they got a lot of room to grow and, and make connections improve their sound oh yeah um but yeah man i'm i'm definitely uh definitely tuned in for sure yeah i'm fucking with them and bro there's been another underground goat as of recently and uh he goes by the name of ian Ian, you, you peep any of his shit or nah dude ian's kind of lit bro. He's kinda i fire. can't even lie like, wait, have you seen a picture of him, though? Dude, okay. I thought he played, like, lacrosse or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> that's funny as hell. You know what I'm saying? Kappa yeah. Sigma president. Yeah. But, uh, bro, that's, like, like what I was saying with the gimmick thing. Like, yeah. like the underground rappers in the scene, it's not that their music is bad. Like, they, like there's a lot of artists who got some bangers. But yeah. the one thing is, like, a lot of them, I don't want to say they look the same, but, like, they kind of look the same. They had kind of have similar beats, like, the the you know lyrics are recycled every now and yeah. then but like the thing is like ian i can't say his music sounds like too different like at first i thought he was cardi yeah but the thing <laughs> is is that like the 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 look doesn't match the sound and that's yeah. what allows him to stand out exactly. but also like he's a fire artist too yeah. so like that combination is just like he's bound to blow up eventually yeah bro and like it's interesting the shit you said before about gimmicks because I feel like even in the underground, like every artist, like the Nets band, like Yapo JJ, like they all got some type of gimmick going on. Like it doesn't even have to be a concrete thing, just like a certain like energy. Like in the underground, like people be calling that like aura, mm. but it's like kind of like that shit, that term got way too corny. But basically, bro, Ian's aura is just like basically being himself, like a normal yeah. ass dude. And I feel like people kind of gravitate towards that, especially sure. in a space where, like, every artist is just trying to be, like, mysterious as fuck. Like, because, mm. I don't know, I, I just, I think it's honestly, like, pretty refreshing to see something like that. Because, like, yeah. bro, like, he be making, like, he just be, like, making trailers of him, like, ordering Chipotle and, like, putting that to a song. And it goes fucking insane yeah. because the music's good. And, like, also the shit you said where it's, like, you look at him and you're, like, bro, there's no way, like, he, that kid made that. It but, makes you invested. Exactly, bro. And like he and it's fire, like you said. Like he has some fucking bangers, bro. Dude, even with like uh you know four bats? Yeah, four bats. Like bro. same thing. Like you look at him, you're not expecting him to sound yeah, like that. Yeah, bro. And then like obviously yes. like like little Mabu, like he yeah. kinda looks like a like a like like a little Jeezy or something. <laughs> but like you wouldn't expect him to make drill music. I feel like he's kinda like a, a mainstream example yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. Wait, did you see um did you see that video of like that girl? She was in like a target in like Utah and she found young boy and Mabu. Oh, I did see yeah. that. I saw that shit today. I was like, bro, I gotta tell Jamani about this shit. Yeah, that's that that's was hella fire. That bro, was... you know Bronny follows uh follows Ian too? Yeah, bro. Because uh, Bronny co-signed Ian, like, a few, it was probably, like, a month or two ago, like, one of the snippet videos Ian dropped, and, like, Bronny commented on it. Because I think, I don't know, I think, like, he saw Bronny either, like, like one of his shits, and then he decided to make a trailer and was like, Bronny, I see you on my page, like, like run these oh, ones. Oh, I know, yeah. Yeah, and then Bronny, I'm pretty sure he commented on that. So, yeah, bro, like, Ian, like, he has a bunch of people fucking with him, like, and I mean, I don't know. I think he deserves it because the music's fire. Yeah. It's like, bro. Yeah. And uh, what was it? Lil Candy Paint put him yeah. on to or put Bruce Shaw oh. off on, on on stream. Yeah, I, f I remember that. That's fire, bro. You think Bronny is low key hella tapped in with the the underground, bro? Dude, like he, he was following uh, only Bino yeah. like back in the day. Dude, I fucking I met him at a Dom Corleo show in L. A. Oh remember? yeah. Uh, Dom. Well, it was Dom Corleo and Young Ko, but. Like, this dude, Bronny, was, like, dipping real quick. I was like, bro, that's fucking Bronny. I walk up to him, like, yo, like, I fuck with you, bro. You got to confirm it, bro. Is he 6'2 or 6'3? Fucking, I don't know, bro. Damn. It was dark. I don't think he's either <laughs> of those, though. It, it was dark? Nah. That just, <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up, bro. Bro, he's, like, 6'7, though. What do you mean? Isn't his he, like, brother six? is, like, hella tall, bro. Oh, he's, like, it's his brother? Eight. Okay, word. To highlight a couple other people in the underground that are going crazy right now, like, obviously, Osama-san, he's going fucking crazy. Like, we've been talked about him, like, 
before on our shit. Bro, Fuck. what's that one guy's name? Like Laser or something? Oh, Laser Dim. Yeah. Yeah, bro. He he's fire. Like the thing, the thing I was gonna say before uh, with a lot of the people in this new scene, like Netspan, Laser Dim, like Yapo, JJ, like. Bro, they, it's such an acquired taste, like, mm. for real. Like, because even me, like, listening to these people for the first time, I, like, did not understand that shit, like, at all, bro. I was like, what the fuck? But then, like, as I kept listening to it, I was like, hold up. Like, this shit's, like, kind of a vibe. Yeah. So, and even with Laser Dim, like, a lot of people are like, oh, like, his mixing's so ass. Like, his mixing's off, whatever. But, like, that's kind of, like, that's one of the things that kind of makes him unique, I think. Um, it was like with X, like his music used to be distorted, like look exactly. at me. Yeah, exactly. So like, I feel like a lot of the people coming up right now that are going crazy is like definitely an acquired taste. And I mean, I think that's fine. It just it just t might take a little longer to like start fucking with someone. This dude named Che, he's going crazy right now. Mm -hmm. And his sound is mad unique. Like he just dropped a song called Miley Cyrus. And that shit's fire. That, shit was that fire. shit's hard. Miley like sex. Um, this dude named 1AM is fire, like he's mag, like close with Osama and shit, and like he just dropped a, a project like late last year, it's called House Party, like hella bangers on that shit. Oh shit, that's crazy, <laughs> that's, that's insane. Oh, also, have you ever heard of Jades? Yeah. Where he's going crazy, like he's probably, in my opinion, he's the most versatile in the underground, cause like, He'll just like make a like underground like rap type song, and then he'll drop like a fucking rock song. Like it's crazy. Yeah. You can't put one genre on him type shit. But yeah. yeah, I mean those are just a few people. And like Bandana saying he's hard. Yeah. We gotta get you on a song, bro. Where? What should my artist name be? Lil Monotone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's real fucking funny. <laughs> um. I feel like, bro, you are, like, the perfect... You gotta make, like, music that sounds... Like, you gotta make some gangster shit. Bro, or, like, you gotta do it, like... In, like, a, a bagel shop or something from the, the music video. Nah, fuck a bagel shop. <laughs> fuck a bagel shop. But, nah, like, some people in ATL I'm fucking with, like... I don't know if you ever heard this dude named Until Japan. He's hard. This dude named Skate. Is he related to Made in Tokyo? Nah, he's not. Yeah, you see what I did He's also... That, right? Nah, that was good, that was good. <laughs> yeah, like, so this dude named Until Japan, this dude named Skate Star. Um, I don't even, I don't even know who else, bro. Like, a lot of people be, like, from ATL, but then, like, living somewhere else, or, like, vice versa, so it's like, I don't even know, but... And I know, I'm, pr yeah, Laser, he's from Atlanta. Even, like, Southside Silhouette, like, Roland Thrax. But, yo, I don't want our fucking mics to die, so yeah, yeah. Hopefully we appreciate y'all. We're gonna try and, um, you know, incorporate like more and like up and coming shit on our episodes. This That's is kind of, this is kind of just like, you know, we're just testing shit testing out. Testing the waters, you know what I'm saying? Fact. Hey, if you got any recommendations though, let us know because this is only the beginning. I don't know, like, we haven't come up with a schedule yet, but, you know, stop by, check us out, let us know, man. No cap. So basically, guys, comment um, who we should book for the TikTok Riz party. And uh, have you seen that video or no? Nah? I have. The kid like the, at the bar mitzvah like singing Carnival like with all his friends. Uh, you're gonna have to send me that. <laughs> all right, word. But yo, we'll see you guys soon. Appreciate y'all. That's a fact. Hundred thousand likes, we throw in a bar mitzvah. No cap. Stop playing with him. That shit's crazy. That shit's crazy.